are back. We are back on the YouTubes. We have been gone since November, I think. The last time we saw everyone was at my Christmas open house. And we have been putting bows on everything ever since. We are working on all of our projects, trying to complete a lot of tasks this year. And we are at our Airbnb here in Tupelo, Mississippi. Welcome back, everyone, to our YouTube. I'm JJ. Look, Boog says she's been away, but I've still been here. I want y'all to sit back and enjoy what we have for you guys in store. So a typical day for me is obviously starting with the little ones. I try to get up early in the morning and do my quiet time and my motherly things, my fitness, but it doesn't always work like that. Sometimes the kids beat me to the punch. So I get up with them, get them ready, drop them off, get Timber on the bus, and um, try to get some back end things done on, on like my office time. As far as the store and stuff is concerned, if I'm not in the store physically that day, do some projects with my husband, prep dinner, and right now we are in full blown ball season. The kids are in t-ball and baseball, and so it is running my life right now. Well, a typical day for me is, you know, getting up. I do get up with the kids. I mean, I know my wife gonna say I don't, but I get up with the kids, you know, help them with their homework. I mean, I do it all. Make sure, I make sure there's lunch money on the table. I make sure there's snack money on the table. Look, I, that's what I do. I take my little girl to school every day, all the time. It's an hour drive down the road for my wife get to sit back at home. And I guess she says she's working out, but hey, that's my typical day. I get up, get all that started, start work. I mean, me, me being a real estate agent, I'm just all over the place. I got people calling me up. I got contractors I'm dealing with. I'm putting out fires all over the place. So my day is pretty much just scat. So I'm pretty much going with the flow. Today we are checking in on our investment property in Tupelo. We have made this an Airbnb and we are super pumped to get it finished. So I have had free will with the design here. My husband has kind of took the training wheels off and let me get some color in here and kind of be creative like I've always wanted to be. So we started with the exterior of the house, painted it black, and now we got pops of color on the inside and I couldn't be more excited. Oh, you done measure this room. What's changing? You know, you measure it every time you come up here. No, I don't. But this is where the bed is going. I need to make sure it's the right size. Well, you done measured it. Or we can you, buy a new look, one. Look, you think she's going to do? So the house is growing. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> So this room has a blue ceiling because we are, like we said, in the city of Tupelo, Mississippi. And Elvis Presley was born just right around the corner. And everyone in Tupelo loves some Elvis, excluding myself not too crazy about them. But I do love the blue suede shoes. So that's what this theme is, blue suede shoes. And obviously the Tupelo blue, we love everything blue being the golden wave. And so our ceiling in this room is blue and it's going to tie in with a beautiful wallpaper that I have from a local designer in Memphis that has designed an uh, wallpaper series. What I'm doing today, you know I'm the man, and what I say it goes. I mean, my wife, she come in, she have all her ideas, but I'm just here just to see how, how her ideas and stuff are gonna turn out. They're looking pretty good now, but I'm going to be the one to check off and make sure that this thing is going to run like I want it to. I know, I'm just talking about blue suede shoes. <laughs> you got some blue suede shoes, don't you? I ain't got no blue suede shoes. Don't double pay me like that. Uh oh. No, no, I don't. Loafers. No, I ain't got no blue suede shoes, babe. Don't do me like that. You used to. <laughs> never had no blue suede shoes. Yes, you did. Don't play me. Let me pull out a photograph. Show you somebody. Don't see me with no blue suede shoes on. I'm really, I really am tired of the lies. No. Hey, touch that. See if it's hot. Right here. Touch that. See I if can't it's hot. reach that. Touch it. Was it lick your finger and touch that? No, we want to electrocute me now? No. Let's touch it. See if it's hot. Here. Boy, don't touch that. Well, then why are you going to ask me to do it? I'm glad you trust me, though. Obviously. Okay. Come on. Get it. Slap a man. I'm a grown man. Don't slap me on my tail. 
This one's really pretty. This one's my favorite room because it's green. Part of my creative process when entering a home, what inspires me or what helps me stage and style a home is how the home feels initially. I have a background in mental health, so function and sentiment, all those threads are really important as far as the design process is concerned for me. In this particular space, I want it to open it up a little bit because it's not a ton of square footage. So I wanted to make sure that it was more space for you to actually walk and physically navigate throughout the home. And I wanted to brighten up the living spaces. And as far as the bedrooms are concerned, that's where I got a little bit more creative with um, a theme that I've been inspired by. Yeah, this right here is my favorite room of the house. When she came up with this design, it, you know, I always give her a hard time and give her a whole lot of pushback, but this room, I really let her have her whole creative vibe to go with it. This right here is the Ray Shrimmer room because she's doing a whole lot of things in the, with this, with this property that's gonna be more, more of a themed Airbnb. She's gonna have all kinds of different themes in this home. Uh, the home that, the designs that she's gonna come up in this, with this home is gonna be, you know, Ray Shrimmer in this room. This is the reason why I really like it because it's gonna give her some type of, you know, touch of uh, Tupelo. I was gonna say Nettleton, but you know, only the real ones come from Nettleton. You think that, don't you? You saying Ray Shrimmer ain't real? I ain't saying he ain't real. Uh, okay, but they come from Tupelo. I ain't saying Tupelo. they ain't real now. Because they come from Tupelo. But look, they ain't, look, they ain't from Nelson. Where Nails? did the drummers hear from? They ain't home, man. They ain't from Nelson now. Well, I mean, this is a no flex zone. They're about Y'all ain't got nobody from the Olympics. From ain't, what? Ain't nobody going to the Olympics from Tupelo. This, we talking about music. That's music. Anybody make music. <laughs> you got some real athletes. Are you serious? For real. Y'all don't have musicians from Nettleton? Y'all ain't got no real athletes in Tupelo. Not athletes. Yeah. Spell it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm telling you, though. Athletes. It don't matter. Y'all ain't got no real balls to come out of Tupelo, baby. Okay. Anywho. I love this room, Y'all ain't got nobody in there. So everything in here is nobody going to be the same color. The trim, the ceiling, and the walls. It's a lot of depth in here, but it's going to be absolutely accent it and offset with the furniture. So there'll be some contrast with the color of the furniture versus the deep color of the wall. But we are threading in Ray Shrimmered here. And I think you're in my you're in my light. Am I in her light? I mean, Let me get out her light. Let's see. I found this property here and I really knew it was going to be a great project and an investment because of the location that we're in. Um, Elvis was in the backyard. He played in the backyard at this property, man, I'm telling you. So that's how close we are from Elvis' birthplace, five minutes from downtown. You know, but right up the road here is ICC. We have all kind of, all kind of convenience stores around here. It is a gr great central location right off Highway 78, so when people are passing through going to Birmingham, it'll be a great place where someone can stop. Uh, we also have the Aquatic Center down the road, so when I looked at this property and I seen it come, come to the market, I said, this right here is going to be the one that I will be making a long-term investment on. This particular project, especially since it's in my hometown in Tupelo, Mississippi, since we're always in Middleton, where he is from, I was like, well, since we're in my town, in my city, let me do what I want to do. Let's pay some homage to people from Tupelo. So everyone that follows me on social media knows that music is huge for me, so there will be some musical influences in this, in this home, in this space. Um, he has allowed us to take down some walls here, open it up a little bit. Um, we'll be creating an island, an island um, here. I think that I'm gonna put those woodwork skills to use. He's been doing, if you follow him on the media, as you see, he's picked up that trade. And um, 
it's been like pulling teeth here and there trying to get him on board with how things where things will be faced and how they'll be staged for example um the island that i'm putting in the kitchen will just be small like a little two seating area um bar top for people to just snack there and jj wanted it faced a certain way which made absolutely no sense. I'm like, we can't have it perpendicular to the kitchen space. It needs to flow. So that's when the staging skills and expertise come into play. We're gonna want somewhere to eat. We're just gonna plop down on these people's sofa and eat. You're gonna want the island. Look, people don't eat at the table no more. So you go to somebody else's house and eat on their furniture? Who don't you put your you? feet on people's couch? You, you tell me not to, don't you? Right. So why man, would you look, eat food we, look, on someone else's table? Man, look, you ain't got table? enough room to put no, uh, no counter right yes, there? it's going to be small. Not even like, maybe about 36 inches. Well, maybe. that's one plate. <laughs> 36 inch plate? That's going to be one. Who's going to sit there? What is this? You got it. The you, Last Supper? I, it could be for some folks. Oh, my God. But what I'm telling you is, you can't do that. You will have one person eating right there. Two. On a 36 inch table right here. Just a small little nook. I mean, I don't know the exact measurements. I was just trying to give you an example. Maybe it ain't gonna work. But the island should be parallel to the Bug, cabinet. it ain't shape. gonna work. You're gonna take away all kind of space. No, it's not supposed to be all kind of space in here. What they gonna do? They need to eat. Boy, they can sit right there on the couch and eat. Yeah, and, and how long is the sofa? Baby, I don't know. But I'm telling you something. You, you messing up right here. I know. It's going to be cluttered, bro. I promise you. You're going to make it. I'm not. I can't. Yeah. JJ likes to give me a hard time about a lot of things, but we're going to do the island. It, it will be done. He is woodwork willy now. He is in his woodwork bag. He loves to do these little projects, always looking for something to build. Baby, we build in the island, okay? It's happening. So look, when we first got this property, I told her, I said, don't remove the wall. She removed the wall. And then I told her, I said, well, it ain't going to be enough room for you to put, you know, an island or whatever you want to put right here because the, the, the space is so small. But look, you know, women don't listen. Look, she's going to find out today. This is my property. It's my city. What, what y'all say? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm telling you something, you just, I mean, I don't know how you're going to make this space work, but you got, you got to find I will make it work. I'm not worried about that. We just need to make sure we have a good furniture budget. You're going to order it off tall? Yes. Tall furniture. A new line I'm carrying at Simplicity. <laughs> okay. It's going to be beautiful. Man, I'm gonna trust you, man, but I told you, look, don't remove that the wall. You did anyway. Yeah, it opens up the space a lot more because we don't have a ton of square footage. It leaves the way for people to move throughout the space a little bit easier, to physically navigate throughout the space. What about if I want to sell the property? Well, then maybe you can put it back up. You know, you're ain't, doing all that woodwork. I ain't doing it. I'm doing some woodwork. Right. But, so yeah. you can just put a couple little beans here and put some drywall. I'll help you. But uh, anyway, boy, I'm telling you this. I mean, you're trying to put sheet, uh, what's it, wallpaper on the wall? That's out, baby. No, it's not. People ain't doing wallpaper no more. Yes, they are. Mm. How about you let me do what I'm supposed to do and you do your thing? Oh, so we're going back to your grandma's house. Don't bring my granny in this. You know, she's the sweetest person in the world, rest her soul. She was. Correct? Yeah. But I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying though, what I'm saying. What? Is it going to be like walking your grandma around? No, it is You're not. You're going to have all the wallpaper in here? I'm having wallpaper in that one room there and then wallpaper back there in the bathroom. And that's it. That's two rooms. Can't do it, baby. How are you going to, how is it going to help the resale? It's pill and stick. I got to go back in and paint it. Okay. You're going to have to touch up paint regardless. No. It's an Airbnb. It's a rental property. I don't matter. So, time in any rental time. property that you'll have, there will be maintenance. So, anytime that you're investing in a property, you want to make sure that you set aside of your profit to maintain the property that you have invested in. So, in case there is any accidentals or there's any problem with the Airbnb, which they already pay a deposit or whatever that may be, you do want to have some money set inside just in case something happens.
Okay, this is my advice for any investor and any real estate agent that's starting off. Tip one, stay away from the real estate gurus on YouTube. Do they really know what they're doing? Are they doing any trans like, transactions like we're doing here? That's the first thing that you gotta ask. If so, if they're doing big numbers, ask to see their portfolio. Another tip that I have for anybody that's going to uh, start doing investments, when you go out to any property like <clears throat> this property here, um, I loved it, I had a great idea for it, all the numbers and stuff checked out, but it was one thing that I didn't do but that I really think that people need to start doing. Yeah, you look at the bones and the structure of the house. Yeah, you come in and turn the water on, but just to make sure you don't have any leaky faucets. But sometimes, with all the faucets and stuff off, you need to go look at the meter and see if the meter is still running. If, if it's running, it's a leak somewhere, but it's not in the house. So it might be in the ground, running to the property. So somebody got to fix that leak. And if you are the owner now, that's going to be a big unknown expense that you got to come out of pocket with. Okay, right now, we have a couple more things that we have to complete with this project. I'm still debating on if we're going to, you know, really set in the countertop here, but, you know, it depends on how she treat me. We might make that happen. But, you know, other than that, full circle with everything is coming out great. So, probably June 23, we might have this uh, completed. What you think? I'm pushing for May. I would like it to be complete in May. We just have hardware, floors, trim, a little bit more paint. I think furnishing will be the longest part of the job. But, but you the plug on that, though. You own a home decor store. Wow. The audience did not know that. <laughs> I'm saying you own one. Like, you can be able to get the, get the stuff, man. Okay, it'll be good. You got furniture and stuff, too, right? But tall. Yes, we'll order. You can order it today if you'd like. No, see, you're moving too fast. But everyone, thank you so much for watching us today. Uh, and remember, if you're in the market for your next home, your next in investment property, commercial property, make sure you always keep it real to them. Hey. Welcome back, y'all. We've been away for a minute. Well, I haven't been away. I've been still doing my thing. But I want to welcome everyone back to our YouTube. Look, it's going to be great. We got a whole lot of fun things we're going to uh, we're going to have with you guys. Look, just sit back and watch this and wait for this entertainment. Let's start that over. <clears throat> so I should have had some liquor. If I would have had that drink, had me a beer too. I ain't got to hold my hand. I know what I want you to hold. Yeah, it's okay. All right. All right. Typical day for me every day is go to bed at 9, wake up around about 11 o'clock, stay up to 2 a.m., back to bed at 4 a.m., right? All night. I'm, you know, I don't sleep. I'm a hustler. You know, we don't sleep. We take nap. So I nap all day. Okay, all day, all night. So I don't sleep. Uh, wake up, my wife get the kids ready, feed them while I'm doing my little daily exercises and read my devotional. <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm reading my daily exercise, I mean, let's cut all that. Hold on, let's cut all that. The line. The line. The line. The line. The line. You're talking to me like I'm slow. Don't play me. Don't play me. Girl, stop twirling that thing. Girl, that ain't You're going to break somebody else up. <laughs> look, look, you about to break something. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. Look, like, dang, man, leave. Leave. Okay, just.
I don't know. I think you're um, chasing your tail a little bit when you talk. Yeah, so that's why I'm about to cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> you about to cut your tail off? Cut that tail off. <laughs>